This is Amitabh Pandit and in this video, I'll be taking up the topic of Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS, Gastroesophageal Reflux Disorder, GERD, and Acidity. I've combined the three disorders because all of them have the same cause. So I'm going to be doing a set of four videos in which first I'm going to be talking about as to what is the cause of these disorders. The second one is going to be about how to correct the cause and the third one is going to supplement on that and the fourth one is a specific technique by which you can correct these disorders very very rapidly. Uh, let's start with the first one. The real cause of acidity uh, and GERD and IBS lies in wrong food combining. What really happens is that when we eat food we do not realize as to how food is being combined while we are eating it. Not many of us are aware that there is a specific technique by which certain foods can be combined to prevent these disorders. When we combine foods haphazardly, then the digestion of the combination becomes much, much more challenging for the body. And that's why there is acidity and gastric reflux. Our stomach is able to digest proteins and our intestines digest carbohydrates. This is a very big distinction because the gastric juices released in the stomach is very different from the uh, digestive enzymes that are released by the intestine. So let us say that we combine certain foods during a meal in which there is protein and carbohydrates and on top of that we might eat some sweet or some eat, drink a beer or uh, a juice or curd water or a glass of buttermilk or simple water then the entire combination becomes such that when it goes into the stomach the body does not realize what uh, how to extract the nutrients from this combination and it becomes very challenging for it because of which it sits in the stomach for a long time and this causes hyperacidity because more and more acid, uh, hydrochloric acid is being released in the stomach and this can come up in the esophagus which will be the reflux and you can feel it in your mouth or you can feel a heartburn or, or acidity or discomfort in your stomach. As this wrong combination goes downwards in the intestine, there is a lot of fermentation and gas formation due to which the peristaltic movement of the intestines is disturbed and this causes an irregularity of the bowel movements. You might feel that you want to have to pass a bowel movement and it doesn't come and when the time comes in the morning when you get up to pass a bowel movement, uh, you have to really apply a lot of pressure to release the bowels and uh, this can also be uh, a way of constipation. So um, all the three disorders, acidity, GERD and IBS have the same cause of wrong food combining. Another uh, thing I like to mention here is that if you give inadequate gaps between meals, that would also lead to IBS and it would aggravate IBS. For example, you might go out somewhere and eat a meal and the moment you're back uh, after a couple of hours somebody co comes over to your house or you have to entertain somebody or you are out again you're going to the market and you might eat something now you have to realize that if you have had a full meal and that sitting in the stomach waiting to be digested or uh, and the stomach uh, enzymes are working on it on top of that if you add something else it could be a coffee a latte a cold drink a chocolate a protein bar anything a fruit this hampers the digestion process because you are not given adequate time for the food that is already in the stomach to be digested. Now, this is critical because only when food has left the stomach should you idly put more food in your body. Digestion is priority for the body and the moment you put something else, it will stop the assimilation and absorption process which is going on with the food that has been eaten previously and it will start working on the new food that you've put in. This causes further aggravation of IBS and disturbance of the peristaltic movement and 
can aggravate all the three disorders. So in my next video, I'll be talking about how you can correct this hyperacidity and IBS and also what exactly is food combining what about. Thank you for watching. God bless.